Feeling uninspired? Stampin' Up! catalogs are a great place to find inspiration and ideas. Hi, I'm Jessica Taylor from Ink It Up! with Jessica, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the ideas and make them your own. On page 31 of the catalog is a stamp set called Kite Delight, and I love this stamp set because it has a variety of different kite images, but also words that make great cards. So friendship cards, um, wishes for a carefree day, you could use that for just about any occasion, um, and then the happy birthday. So on page 31, along with the stamp set, they show a sample just like this. And I really liked this easy note card, and so I wanted to make it. I wasn't quite sure what color they used, what color of ink they used for the kite. And so I went and looked at um, what they call like the sample recipes for the catalog. And you can download it right below this video. But basically what it is, it's a list of all of the projects, like all of the cards that are shown in the catalog. And then they tell you what supplies they used for to make that card. And then sometimes there's some other tips about it as well. So when I looked, in that I was really surprised that for this card that they used Poppy Parade for the, the kite because in the catalog I thought it looked pink. So I decided to go ahead and stick with the colors that they used but I can see that I would also make this card and maybe try this in like flirty flamingo or polished pink or something like that. So you could definitely change out the colors for this easy note card. So you can go ahead and make the projects as you see them in the catalog, exactly. Sometimes that's called casing, C-A-S-E, and that stands for copy and share everything. Basically, it means to share ideas, and that is just fine. So you could make the note card just as is, but if you wanted to step it up a little bit, this piece of white here, this basic white, is the same size as a note card. So this has a finished size of three and a half by five. So I just cut white cardstock to three and a half by five. My card base is a regular A2 size, which is a finished size of four and a quarter by five and a half. But basically it's five and a half by eight and a half folded in half. And then I added some Poppy Parade cardstock behind this to just add really a pop of color. And then on my card base, I stamped some clouds from the kite stamp set in Versamark ink. Then for my third version of the card, I stepped it up even a little more. You can kind of see I added the Poppy Parade cardstock again, but this time I embossed it with the 3D Hive embossing folder. So it's got some texture to it. And instead of just cutting this piece out, I used a rectangle a stitched rectangle die to cut out that white piece so it adds the stitching around it. And then I also added some twine flying off like for the tail of the kite and cut out the bows and colored them in. And then I embossed my greeting with white embossing powder on the blue cardstock instead of just stamping it in blue right on the white. So I hope that this allows you to see the different possibilities when you're looking at cards in the catalog to use them as ideas to create your own card. So here's how to make the basic card shown in the catalog. Let's start with the basic white note card. These come pre-cut and scored and then the envelopes are sized to match. So it's hard to see but there is a score line on here that's real faint. Basically I'm just going to fold this in half. So even though there's a score line I usually line up my opposite corners and then use a bone folder to give it a nice crease and then it's ready for stamping on. So I'm gonna take a Poppy Parade ink pad and stamp the kite first up in the corner. So I'll just ink that up really well. This is a clear stamp set, which makes it really easy to see where you're stamping things. So I'm just gonna stamp it kind of in an angle up in that corner. If you hold your stamp down a little bit longer, it's gonna let more of the ink soak into your paper. So there is my kite. Next, I'm gonna stamp my words in Balmy Blue ink. And I have an extra little tip for you here. This is actually one stamp. So all together, it should say another year flies by, happy birthday. 
but I very carefully cut mine in half because I knew that I would use the happy birthday part a lot more than I would use all of these words together. Another year flies by, I wouldn't use that as much as I would just use happy birthday on its own. So even though I cut it apart so I could use it separately, it's still really easy to use together. I like to, if I can, use a line like on my grid sheet, or in this case, I just have one um, on my paper here. But basically, you're just gonna line them up. The way that I cut it, they kind of fit together like a puzzle, but I wanna just make sure that my happy birthday stays straight as I put them together. And then I'll put my clear block right on top of that so that they're perfectly on here and lined up. So then I'll just ink up both of those stamps now with the balmy blue and stamp that on the front of my note card. And then I will stamp the kite line with the bows on it in Daffodil Delight. And I'll just line that straight up with the end of the kite. Again, because this is a photopolymer or totally clear stamp set, it's really easy to see where you're stamping. So just like that, I have a note card ready to send. If you want to stamp your envelope, I suggest that you just put another piece of paper inside of it, and then you can stamp the sun or the clouds or whatever you want just over your envelope flap. And that makes it a little more exciting to receive in the mail.